everybody, welcome to my channel, Susan Diamond Paints, and today we are working on square 24. Let me get my stuff over here to the side, put my ruler back in the drawer, and we'll get our beads going here. So, let's see here. We will start with the letter C. So, I'm going to get my big case out over here so I can get my drills out. And then we can talk a little bit. So today's Wednesday. Um, do, 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 do. Today is December the 7th. Yesterday was the uh, Disney update. So I played a little bit yesterday. didn't get too much into the update. Because then they wanted to play Rocket League. And then I stayed up till 1 o'clock in the morning playing Rocket League, so I am tired. And then right now it's Wednesday, so Les has gone to church for Wednesday night service to play. He comes home, we're gonna have grilled pork chops, and I'm gonna do some apples in the Instapot. And um, he wants french fries with that, so we'll have french fries with that, so. That is on the agenda, so I'm going to do this picture right here, get our advent done, get it processed, go in and fix dinner, come back after dinner to get it loaded up into YouTube, and we'll be good to go for tonight. So, Rocket League, its new season started today, did the massive update last night. For it not to even be ready to release to see it. So that update is today. So I'm going to go in and go ahead and get my season pass for that. And uh, collect all my free rewards. And then hopefully be playing some this weekend to get myself going on the uh, season pass for Rocket League. I got up to 82, I think, was my uh, tier, Rocketeer pass for the past, you know, for season 8. So, hoping to, with time off, be able to play some and get through the ranks there of the season pass and see what, what all I can collect. It looks like a, it's a dragon theme um, for this season, so some of the winds on the pass is some dragon type ish decals and paint jobs and items um uh, car car toppers and things like that so and then in dream light i tell you i i, I gotta play this thing every day because if i don't i'm gonna lose my crop so i had this whole area dug out in one of the biomes and then I did, but I didn't plant anything but like a couple of things because I ran out of energy and I didn't have enough coal to cook my food. And I really got to go into the castle and open one of the uh, biomes to get Kristoff's stall uh, opened and updated and ready to go so I can just buy my coal whenever I need it so I can cook my souffle so I can just plant all over the place. So that's going to be the goal for probably the week when I'm off for Christmas, the my birthday week. So that will be hopefully the goal for that game, um, along with unlocking all the items for the Christmas or the winter um, star path that goes, it gives you like two months to get that done, it goes until the end of January. Um, so I want to Get all, get all the, I want all the things is what I want. I don't care if I want it, really want it bad or not. I just want to collect them all. I'm going to get them all. So there's things I got to unlock and do to get to myself to that. So it's just, um, you know, doing the quest. And, you know, like when people who are already up, you know, up to date and done all everything. And we're just doing things for the grind. Um, I, I'll do some of that just for the play sake of it that's this uh trying to get this cover sheet up so i can get the c's right here 
So, yeah, I'm doing some of the grind stuff. Just trying to collect the things that I need to collect. And apparently they fixed the, uh, I'm talking to my friend that fixed the uh, Minnie Mouse and the Wally. -E. looks like the level 10 quest so that you can unlock their level 10 um, prizes or rewards. So, in that part. So, I've got a lot of stuff i got to do. And then getting Woody and Buzz Lightyear to the valley. I've got to do all that. So... For me, just the new player part, I'm, I'm just going through it, so I haven't got to the point where I've completely caught up, so a lot of per people play, and she, uh, one person I saw where I'm um, talking on the uh, lady that I watch on YouTube, she goes through all the, the stuff, and I haven't watched her lately. I didn't want to get too spoiled on the uh, new winter release to find out all the things yet. Cause I'm not there yet so there's no point in me watching that because then I won't you know I'm not to be a while before I'm in that stage in the game but um she um not the person that I watched but I was watching I think one of the comments on one of her lives that what she had done is she had went through upgraded Scrooge McDuck's um business got it completely upgraded and then bought all the things in his in his uh shop that's a crap ton of stuff, and you got to have a crap ton of money for that. But I guess when you've caught up on all the quests, and the only thing you have left to do is just grow your crops and sell them, yeah, I guess that's what you do. What I want to do, which is a crazy idea, but that's part of the grind, and what I want to do um, is I want to have a chest for every crop, every fruit that you harvest on a tree or on a um, bush um, in a chest and have the chest completely full of that crop. So I wanna have a apple chest and a banana chest and a lemon chest and a, a carrot chest and a lettuce chest. I wanna have all that. I wanna have a chest, but you're completely full. So a spot holds, um, I think it's 50 items, that's how it works. You can hold 99 seeds, but the spot only holds 50. I think that's right, 50 items. I know that on the crafting things, it holds 99. So I'll have to look and see if that's how it works in the chest for the crops. So it's either going to be 50 or 99 that it holds. I would assume it'd be 99, but yeah, I want it to be slightly full. So that's what I'll grow and do my recipes out of. And um, just have all the all the things, but it's hard doing that right now, collecting crop wise, because you know that, that's where I'm making my money right now. So I want to upgrade my backpack completely um, to all the spots. It helps when I have my storage, the storage um, chest that I have that comes with the house. Um, when you upgrade your house, you upgrade that storage, and all I gotta do for that thing is just throw it down on the ground, fill it up with the stuff that I got, so that empties my backpack for me to turn around and you know, collect all the you know all the more and all again. And then all I have to do is just keep throwing the chest down and um, you know filling it up, so I can do that wherever I am. Thing with the chest is it gets full too. Because, you know, you're collecting, I'm like, I want to do like the same thing with the crops, with the flowers. I want to have all, all the flowers. So I just want to have chest, rooms of chests full of stuff. So what I'll probably do is create the, um, well, I don't know, I'll probably either create the tables or buy the tables, one of the two. Just the small tables for the small items and the big tables for the big items. So I'll have a table with the item on it and the chest in front of it so that I know that, okay, these are all my apples are, these are where all my, you know, bananas are, these, you know, etc. So that's what I want to do, but along with that, I'm still doing the quest and everything. So that's my game plan for the game. I want to have it all and I want it all to be in a chest so then I can use it to make all these crap ton of recipes and just unlock all the things and have all the achievements. So that's a game that I really want all the, I guess, all the uh, Xbox 
since that's what I plan on, you know, achievements. So we'll see how that goes. And of course, with things, you know, with your Dreamlight Valley points, you know, you get more Dreamlight Valley points based on things that you do, like you, if you uh, mine, you collect, you know, 20 uh, emeralds then you, you get Dreamlight points, and the Dreamlight points, you use that to open up the worlds. So, that is what my game plan is for the game. Um, kind of looked at a little bit of uh, YouTube today, um, seeing what's coming out. Saw the preview for Season 3 of The Witcher, and I've got to go back and listen to the book, because I never finished the book, that the seasons based on right now or season three is going to be based on so i'm listening to that on audiobook so that will be uh something i plan on doing for the year 2023 is to go back and to listen to that that book uh blood of i think blood of origins what the book is that the season three is based off of a um yeah, I would say it's a spoiler alert, but you pretty much have to be living under a rock not to know this because it's been in the news and everything else, and I'm talking about, like, celebrity news stuff, that um, Henry Cavill is not going to be on season three, or I think he's not going to be on season three of The Witcher, and he's done with The Witcher, which I think for him the idea was he was only going to do a couple seasons anyway. But he didn't like how the story... Um, was going, and I think he disagreed with some things on uh, on the on the storyline and plot and everything. So he's not going to be in in the uh, season three of The Witcher. But it looks like season three, from what it takes place in the book, which is how the book is, um, is like way before where season one and season two are taking place now, like twelve hundred years before. So. Kind of give you the background, I guess, of the area and why everybody's fighting each other and all the craziness that's going on. And then why, pretty much, I think, why really Siri is important. But I haven't listened to all that in the um, book, so I have to get back to that and then do the uh, audiobook listen. So that's where I am on that. I did start listening to a book today while I was working. Um, it was... Um, Got on Audible. Haven't renewed my Audible subscription yet. I've got to deposit the money in my account so I can then get that. And I'm, I guess I'm going to do the 24 credit ones all at one time. It's like 200 something dollars, I think, for that on Audible. So, But they do have the Plus catalog, which is you have to be the Audible mem you know, member to listen to. And I'm a, obviously a member. I just don't have any credits right now because my year hasn't ended yet. Um, and sometime in January, but I think it's January. Anyway, um, they had these, there was a book, there was, um, three, three books, and it's from an author that I've already, you know, read from, I've read some books of hers, and that's Annabelle Chase, and that's A-N-N-A-B-E-L, and then Chase, C-H-A-S-E. So, uh, three, it was three of her books that's available on the Audible Plus catalog, until December 20th, and the first book's called Outlier. So it's about this witch whose grandmother, um, the family used to be a well-known family, well-respected family, until her grandmother uh, got a little too taste uh, heavy for uh, magic and kind of... Um, I guess you could almost say, I guess, uh, not OD'd on it, but just went to Lentz to uh, get the magic, and uh, she was banned, and her wand was taken away from her, and she can't do any kind of magic, and she can't be near magic or anything like that. Well, it puts um, the granddaughter, she's going to the witch school to learn, and of course, they're worried that she's going to be just like her grandmother because she looks like her grandmother, acts like her grandmother, has the same talent as her grandmother, blah, blah, blah. So it's a story of um, that history of bad name precedes, precedes you, and then that's how you're, um, or how she is treated in the whole school and that thing. And, and of course, it's, there's a mystery involved, and there's a druid involved, and all that goody-goody stuff. So that's the first book, Outlier. So 
I started listening to that today. I've got, it's like six, I think seven hours, and I got, uh, I have four hours left, so I'll probably try to finish listening to that on Friday. It's only about the book page-wise. It's not like 200 pages, so that would just be 200 pages added to my uh, 11,000 I've got accomplished for the month. So I've got to really look into that and see what I can uh, read slash listen to that has the pages. But it's kind of hard because I'd have to do both. I'd have to read it and listen to it to get the pages in for it. So we'll see. Still reading the other book, the Shadow Beast book, the book three of it, so I gotta finish it also. It's got four hundred some pages in it, so that'll be six hundred pages of eleven thousand. Yeah, I'm far, far, far away. I don't see me accomplishing that for this month. But then like I said, back in um looking at the uh watching the preview of The Witcher and felt like, Oh Lord, I'm seriously lost and I really need to finish listening to the book. Uh, before I go any further with this is I'm not sure there's a lot of good stuff coming out on Netflix and what have you so I just need to be doing some more reading anyway Let's see if I can get this off nope so I'll just have to pull it up I'll pull it up here so I can get those two down get up here <coughs> excuse me now the crazy weather's happening again. It's getting the upper 60s and it's supposed to be in the upper 60s tomorrow. So then the rain comes in again, which makes damp and bold and then makes all my sinuses all crazy. So and then I have next week to get through and then I'm on vacation. So that will be my Christmas vacation. But uh, um, I feel so bad because um, the uh, lady that I send the sheets to that does my postings for me in the Treasury Department is somebody I worked with for a very long time. She's working in the Customer Comment Line Department, and now uh, she's in Treasury, so she's the one that's doing all my postings for me. And I'd already told her, like, you know, way before she started working there, that in the month, the beginning of the month, you know, stressful times for us because we're trying to get all our monies in. Money's in for the end of the month, and, you know, there's um, rollover from the end of the month into the new month, and, you know, that's what you're working on. Oh, excuse me. Hit y'all. Working on first thing of your, your next month, and and um, I told her, I said, look, I said, um, it's going to be like this for the rest of the month. I said, I'm going to be on fire, and I put a gif of uh, a, a surfer on fire in the in the ocean. I said, I'm going to be on fire for the rest of the month. I said, because I'm trying to collect the monies for the month for the end of the year. And I missed out on November um, money because I had a lockbox of deposit of payments over nine grand. And that will not be counted for November. So that's going to be counted for December. So I sent like a. Um, she, um, I sent this sheet to her yesterday, and she uh, teams me this morning and said, hey, I'm about halfway through. Um, I'll be getting your sheet done for you. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm good with that. Just send it to me when you're done. So then I turn around, and this afternoon about 3 o'clock, I have, you know, like a cutoff period because, you know, from 8 until 3, I'm working on my normal stuff, and then from 3 to 5, I'm working on something else, trying to, a project, trying to clean some stuff up. So, I sent her a sheet, and it's 130 items. And that's when she sent me the team's message. She's like, no, ma'am. She says, I am not working on this for you. And that's when I told her. I said, yeah, so we're going to be running and pushing here for the uh, end of the year, end of the month. So, it's going to be like that, I think, for the, the numbers to get things done. So, because I was also out in November, early in the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday before Thanksgiving. I was out um, on vacation, so me being out the whole week before Christmas is going to put a blood pool on the group because, you know, Mary's the one that covers for me, and she's got her own job to do, so it's going to be she does what she can, and then I you know, do the cleanup part and send out the rest of the stuff to the department that needs it, so... I know they're going to be a little not too happy with me this month, I think, with the two November ones that I missed getting posted in November or being posted in December, and it's a lot. So 
I'm going to probably be dealing with that mess. So. And then, like I said, just trying to get things cleaned up. Trying to get things cleaned up. So when 2023 starts, the new year starts, we start fresh. We start new. We have a clean slate. You know, it's just the, it's just the way things are and why you want things to be. I mean, you want things to be nice and clean when you get started for the next year, the next month, and the new fiscal business year. And that's when our business year starts over in January. It used to start over in July, but then they decided to cut that mess out. And now it's, you know, it ends in December, starts over in January. So, trying to get things, all the monies and things for the first quarter and see how we go for 2023. All right, let's print since I'm going to go on that gray again. Oops, a little too many. So, I did look on um, Diamond Art Club today to see about my diamond status. And my diamond status will roll over until December of 2023. So, I, I will hold that status until until then so i also see that on my birthday i will get 1500 uh diamond art club points i have a little over 5000 right now so i saw that where for a thousand points you can get 50 dollars off um your diamond painting purchase and then 10,000 points you can get um a hundred dollars off so I'm not getting any, not looking to get any more diamond paintings for the year from Diamond Art Club for 2022. I really don't want to get any more for 2023. I want to be a no-buy for Diamond Art Club for 2023, but you know how that is. The Chuck Pinson ones and the Abraham Hunter ones and the Dominic David ones, Davidson ones. And then they'll discontinue and they'll have a sale and then you there we are. So... All the things, just all the things. But that's kind of where I'm at. Anyway, I was looking on there for a beginner's kit for my niece. Um, I'm still thinking about going to Michael's and getting the diamond painting from Michael's for her. Because I, I really just want to get her a partial in case she didn't like it. And don't want to spend that kind of money on a diamond art club one in case she doesn't like it. And even those, those some of those aren't partials. And they may be small. I'm just not sure she's going to have the wherewithal, number one, to stick with it. Just because of who she is. She is an active child. so. And then, you know, just she may not want to do it anymore. And I don't want to be stuck doing it for something I don't even want. So I looked at it and was like, nah. It's like I didn't see anything I liked overly. I mean, I got stuff, you know, she may like, but. Um, that's my stuff, so no. So I have that to do, so I'll have to do that probably when I'm off. Or if I get a chance, maybe get it this weekend. I don't know. I need to get the frame for the one that I want to finish. Um, and have, may have it finished by next week, I hope. I haven't been able to work on any this week because I've been doing the advent. So that's what takes my, up my time here right now along with the normal stuff. So, okay. Do I have a dots? No. What do I have right now? I have E. So I'm going to do E. So that's the game plan and what I plan on doing here. Still thinking about how I'm going to film the Justice League one when I get to it with all the world of black. I still don't know yet. Maybe by then I'll be doing like book reviews or something like of the books that I'll be reading. Because, you know, I got that hundred I got to do for the Mickey Mouse challenge or the Disney hundred year challenge. And then um, the audio books I'll be listening to. So we'll see with that. So. Because, you know, who knows? I can only ramble for so long. 30 minutes is about my longest stint on rambling. So, especially when I don't have a lot to tell you. When I rambled the other day about chewed your head off. Well, not chewed your head off, but rambled your head off a bit. And, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm excited about my channel growing. So, with the 21 subscribers. So, 
hey, you know, it's pretty great. That's where I'm at. So not taking anything for granted. It's work. It's um, hard to do. Once you get yourself um, established in a pattern and kind of figure out what you're doing or you feel like you know what you're doing, which is kind of where I'm at right now, I finally, kind of finally feel like I've got the uh, uploading um, part of it figured out. Um, I've decided the camera that I have is the best camera for me right now. I, I put the phone here next to me. Um, that's how I do the voiceover parts. I'm not recording off of the um, camera. I'm recording on my phone. I put that audio clip with a video clip and we match it all together. I recreated my um, intro outro because I was ready for something different new because I did that one in the beginning because I only know so much about what I'm doing. I like the video editing software that I'm using, so it's pretty uh, easy and help, uh, helps me do my videos, so I'm happy with that right now. So I'll tell you, anybody says you can start a channel, you can start a channel, but there's a lot of work involved in it. And if somebody said, hey, you know what, you're going to be doing a December Advent, you're going to be recording and videoing all the uh, days that you work on that, I probably would have said, oh, I think you're crazy. But, you know, no, but it is what it is. So I think it's what um, amazes my mom so much is, you know, she's like, yeah, I can see you, you're doing your videos and, and you're showing your work. And she just thinks, that, you know, that's an amazing thing. And it is an amazing thing because that's kind of where we are as far as technology is concerned. I mean, I know that there are, I know a lot of creators right now are going to TikTok and Twitch and doing videos on there, saturating the market on that side, I guess. But I'm not that inclined as of right now. Plus, it's just enough just filming it and getting it up there on YouTube that I can't even begin to think of how to do anything for TikTok. Now, I'll help my husband on TikTok for his gaming videos. And we'll do, we'll edit some um, audio clips and things like that. And, that you know, that's not too bad. Because i got enough practice now, I think, with my video editor that I can help him somewhat on his video editor but then he's like yeah you got to show me like how you did your um you know, your intros and outros because so-and-so is saying that I you know, need that and he just does you know gaming videos so but you know he needs an intro outro for YouTube but that's just finding the card and putting the details on there and getting your music and scoping around I mean I did a lot of listening on YouTube YouTube's library I use some of their stuff uh, for the my time lapse videos, as you'll see, and that's why the description of the music is in the description because that's where it's coming from. It's from YouTube, and that's what you have to do. So, the one for the ones that I'm using for my video editor, I don't have to do that because I pay for my subscription with the video editor, so I have the right to use the free ones or the non. There's different packages I think you can buy and get into. So I'm up there. Yep. I may look at that. I don't know. Maybe for Christmas. Christmas present to myself. My video, video software editing. I don't know. It's a learning thing. And you know, <coughs> excuse me, you can learn a lot on um, YouTube. There are YouTube videos out there that describe and give you editing and give you tutorials on anything. Um any kind of editing software there's tutorials on that there's um edit uh, there's a uh, tutorials on the editing software that i use we video and that's like i said web-based so that's where all my um videos sit so it's not sitting on my hard drive taking up space now that i moved everything to dropbox so that's helpful so i'm glad to have loaded up from dropbox now so that's what i do with this video is i move it off the camera into Dropbox and that takes mm, probably about 45 minutes or more to load up into Dropbox and then I turn around and flip it from Dropbox and I know I keep telling y'all this that's how I do it but that's just how I do it um, to a uh, wee video and then I put everything together and then I load it up YouTube and then away I go because eventually it's going to get loaded sometimes it's set to go live sometimes it's set to be private and I schedule it haven't been doing that with Advents because I'm doing these at night and I'm trying to get these loaded up same day so that you have the Advent same day. 
So that's what that how that's working. So that is what it is. So let me get these filled in. Mm, the pink. I like the pink. Pink's pretty. It's a pretty color. So yeah, I'm really liking this picture, and I gotta figure out what size frame I gotta get for it with a 30. A 38 it's not quite 30 by 40 it's gonna have to have some kind of border if I if it's a 30 by 40 centimeter I'm not even sure offhand what that is 10 by 16 12 by I don't know I don't know what size it is in inches I'll have to look and then I got to figure out how I'm gonna border it um, to get it to fit and whatever frame I gotta put it in so I usually get my frames from Michaels but it's there Diamond Art Club has such odd sizes, so I don't know yet. And there's that color pink. I know what's in my second box, so let me see here. Let me do these right here. I got a few of those, a few of the grays. Let me get those in. And I hope it's not raining. Sounds like it is. I think I got my umbrella there here with me, so that is good. Yep, I believe it is. I believe it is. Still got my rain boots on, so I'm good there. Let's see here. What's next? I didn't think I was going to rain tonight, but I guess it is. Alright, the dot. Let's do the dot and the plus sign. I got those right there, too. So that's good. So I think this weekend it's maybe supposed to rain Friday. I don't know. I think it's supposed to rain some Sunday too. But hopefully this weekend I can get and work on my other picture that I'm working on and get it done. That's what I like to do. But I still got time, so I'm good there. It's not quite Christmas yet, and the person that was receiving it's not gone on vacation yet, so I'm good there. So, next week I got to take my Christmas presents for my co-workers because I will be out the week before. And then the 26th we have off. That's our Christmas day. And then I'm back at work and the other co-workers off. So, <coughs> I want to give them their gifts next week so I can't forget that. I'll have to get it done. Hopefully they'll like it. Yes, and plus, oops, plus is next, and I got to do that dash for the pink, and then I'll get this bad boy loaded up. There we go. So anyway, like I said, I didn't like it. Anything majorly interesting is going to be happening on Netflix anytime soon, so, of course, I'm watching the, um, uh, Normal shows on TV. SWAT's the only one I still watch other than the new Criminal Minds. Um, so I'm watching. That's just started us the new season of SWAT. So I always like how they start the season. And he's there in a whole different country. So they're in Thailand right now. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, yeah, yeah. Just nothing, nothing appealing to me on uh, Netflix or anything rolling out. And I think Shadow and Bone may have a new season that's coming out. I'm not really sure, so don't hold me on that. I ain't even read the book, so that's one that I need to listen to and read. I think I have those on audio. I think that's what I was looking to do today. But I was like, well, let me just... I was going to get like a Christmassy type story to listen to. And they have really cute ones on um, Audible. That you can listen to and I was like well and I saw the Annabelle Chase one that's um, here until December 20th I was like well I could listen to that because I like her book so that's a three series of trilogy so I might just be listening to those before then hopefully and get them done so I have four do I, is that enough I can't even count no I don't think so Get over here where I can see you. And let's see. So, yeah, I was just kind of like mm -hmm, in that kind of a mood today when I was looking at stuff on <coughs> Netflix to see what was coming out. It's like, yeah, okay. Thank goodness for Street Outlaws. And uh, for January, it will be um, 
Gold Rush Alaska that new season because they should be done way they're, they're way done right now because we're in December now and they get done with filming that sometime in August September to see what kind of gold Dustin gets himself so kind of I look forward to that I like watching that um, so we'll watch that and then whatever Street Outlaws does for the new season for uh, 405 and Mega Cash Days and all that good stuff's what they've been filming. So I can't wait for all that to start. Of course, we're not doing no Prep Kings yet either, so we're still watching that. All right, so all I got left is the dash. So we'll close this up. Number one. Get number two out over here. And that's the 939 color. So I'm going to pour some of those out and then we'll be done. So, yeah, and you know, the normal, like um, we're watching the um, Holiday Baking Championship, watching that right now. And the kids, when we finished watching that one, I don't know if they had more on that one or not because it was just three kids. No, more than three. Four kids, four or five kids, but anywho. Three episodes is what I meant to say. They didn't have a lot of episodes for that, so I think it's kind of hard to hold a kid to a higher standard of, you know, cooking. But it is what it is, so. And then the Destination Fair, it started its new season, so we'll be watching that. So we try to hold off on watching. I don't want to watch too many of those because they're new. Uh, I think Saturday, we haven't watched Saturdays yet, but we may have, I can't remember. So I don't think so. But so we'll have those to watch. So we have our ghosty stuff to watch. And and then, uh, like I said, January we should have our um, Whitewater Gold Rush from in Alaska to watch that, that one. So hopefully he'll, I know that last year when he looked, he had a new idea of where he wanted to go prospecting and looked like it might be profitable. So I think that's where they're going to be hopefully going this year. I hadn't really like Googled any information to see how he did. I like to see how he did before we start watching it. Um, shame on me, but you know. I haven't seen anything. So we'll see how that goes. And then like I said, you know, it's always reading. New books always coming out. Catching up on old books. All the good good stuff there's always a series that i want to read and catch up on but i never get to it so i don't know if i'll do that or not all right so there we go y'all that's square number 24 done so got some part of the picture like one side it looks like done more than the other side but that's just how the wheel's choosing it so i'm just spinning the wheel and uh, that's how it's choosing my square so I will talk and chat, 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 chatty, chatty, chatty with y'all tomorrow night. Ooh, pinch my finger. Ow, that hurt. Okay, so that is it. Ooh, quit y'all in the dark. Let me back you up a little bit. And there you go. You can see that far back, back off to kind of see what the picture is. I tell you, this one's got, brown's got some sear shine to it. I mean, it is shiny. But I think all the Diamond Art Club pictures are shiny, shiny. So there it is. So, all right. And I will chat with y'all tomorrow. Y'all have a good one. Oh, wait. I'm not quite done yet. I always forget this part that I have to do the devotion for you guys. So I have a devotion and a video. That's just how it works. So let me get your devotion for today. We're in our faithful faithfulness devotion here. So December 7th, Wednesday, December 7th. Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. Luke 16, 10. Faithfulness, part three. Pastor James Merritt said, The other day I asked my beautiful wife if she married me for my looks. She replied, No, I married you for your brains. It's the little things that count. Merritt was joking, of course. What really counts in life is faithfulness in the little things. It's how dependability begins, grows, and matures. Longfellow wrote, Most people would succeed in small things if they weren't troubled with a great ambition. 
Sometimes we think we're too big for small things. We would rather get on with what we perceive as bigger, more important matters. But here's how Jesus sees it. Anyone who can be trusted in little matters can also be trusted in important matters. But anyone who is dishonest in little matters will be dishonest in important matters. If you cannot be trusted with this wicked wealth, who will trust you with true wealth? And if you cannot be trusted with what belongs to someone else, who will give you something that will, that will be your own? If you want to succeed on the job, come to work on time. Stick with the job until it's finished. And when you see something that needs to be done, do it, even if it's not in your job description. Give an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. Take your designated lunch break, not a three-hour paid vacation. Report your expenses truthfully. Support the team and uphold the company's reputation. In other words, be faithful on the job. Whatever, whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. That's the kind of faithfulness God honors. All right, I'll check with y'all later. Bye.